It's your man Deshaun Jackson from Philadelphia Eagles. You watching Dub Magazine Project. Salute. The Dub Magazine Project. You know, I feel like my music is everything. Ride shotgun with the stars. It's really good to come from nothing and make something of yourself. Find out what they drive. This is my baby. I love her. And what drives them? I don't want like a target audience. I just want to speak to the world. What's up? It's Vaughn Gittin Jr. What up? It's your player partner, Two Chains. It's the Duo Magazine Project. Scoochie. Back to the Dub Magazine Project. In 1996, Travis Barker set out to become one of the best drummers on the planet. And it also made him one of the highest paid beat makers of all time. When you're one of the hardest working entertainers in music, it's only right to have a fleet of crazy whips. Next up, Travis tells us how one day changed how he traveled for the rest of his life. You get a lot of good ideas that come out of the road. You're out there doing stuff, seeing new places, or being in a new country. Sometimes it feels good just to get in the studio and let it all out. I don't even consider myself a rock star. <laughs> I mean, I surpassed what my goal was. My goal was to play drums and make enough money to eat and provide for myself. So when I surpassed that, I became like a workaholic because I never wanted to go backwards. I mean, I still practice every day, you know, just like I did when I was a kid. The Bentley is a funny story. It's a monster, it's a V12, it's fast. For a while, I, I led myself to believe I'm not supposed to have something as nice as that, and it would just stay garaged. After some crazier things happened in my life, I just decided to enjoy the finer things in life. I look for a clean car that I could just finish and personalize. You just get it and make it your own. Yeah, man, I finished my head finally. Finished my hand, started on my back. I'm trying to get it all in before I leave because I'm gone on tour for like 12 weeks. You can't really get tattooed out there. There's not a lot of time in between shows. I think we're out there for like 11 weeks and we got like 50 shows. So today we are in my tour bus. This is where I live for months at a time when I'm on the road. So this is like a 2013 Prevo built by Marathon. I end up traveling so much, I eventually bought one and built one. I was scared to death of flying. I was in a plane crash four years ago, so that's why we're standing here on my bus today. The goal is to be stress-free, so, you know, I think in February will be the first time I fly in four years. When DJ Ann passed away, I was in New York, and I found out that morning, I left that day so I could get home to be home for his funeral. I did that straight with no stops. DJ AM used to have a, a really good saying, you know, find something you love and find a way to get paid by doing it. Drumming, I loved it. You know, hard work pays off. Uh, right now I'm off to Oklahoma. I got two shows with Blink. I got like a 20, 24 hour bus ride ahead of me. I can get a bunch of work done while the bus is rolling if need be. You got internet, movies, you know, whatever. We started off in a van. You know, I toured in a van for many years. And then when we did get on a bus, there was 17 people per bus. This is a long way from that. When you're stuck on a bus for 48 hours, it's, <laughs> you, you know, you do some thinking and you get, to, you know, time to experiment with things, especially if I have my drum machines and stuff in here. I built pretty much half of my solo album, Give the Drummer Some, on the bus. It's a cool time that I don't always get if I was on a plane. It's just like anything, any sport or, or anyone with a profession, you just, Keep progressing, keep getting better, keep getting bigger. It's still very humbling, man. You still you still learn stuff every day, and you, you still have room to get better all the time. And this is Travis Barker, and you're watching the Dub Magazine Project. Yeah.